Three major objectives. Create. Art as a universal language for promoting peace and unity within the community. The core of this project is to create art with residents, youth, and neighborhood leaders that represents unity, community, diversity, and positivity. This art can be in the form of murals, performance art, music, digital art, etc. Malcolm McRae will be leading a team of multidisciplinary artists and community ambassadors to design, develop, and deploy art projects that will echo universal metaphors of peace and unity. Share. Collaboration is a key to making this project a success. By working with community ambassadors, local creatives, and community leaders, we help empower and activate each site. Each site will have a community gathering component to showcase and celebrate the project. This will be a gallery night, block party, and or live event open to the public. As we create these experiences, participants will be encouraged to share their ideas, visions, and thoughts on how this program impacted their life. With the use of technology and Wi-Fi and social media, the opportunity for sharing will increase to help make a long-term impact. Grow. Knowledge is the most important component to the success of Pollination Station. It will be operated by mentors using science, technology, and art to motivate and encourage personal growth. This experience will be produced using technology such as solar, live video streaming platforms, and projection mapping. This learning platform will be engineered to help grow the impact of each site and community. With workshops and creative camps, the goal is to create sacred spaces that people will use to gather, create, and grow ideas. Summary. Our goal is to make this space affordable and accessible for everyone and to make a lasting and positive change in the community through art, providing resources for artists, communities, and youth to beautify while investing in their neighborhoods, towns, and cities. In most areas, due to the lack of funding, most art programs are being eliminated. Our targeted areas are low-income and poverty-stricken and culturally diverse areas that normally wouldn't have the opportunities to experience this space. We will use Pollination Station to engage, uplift, and unite these areas through creativity, collaboration, and community support. Hey guys, how you doing? This is uh, Malcolm Airbrush Assassin McCray. Today I am so excited. I'm so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys a vision, a dream, a project that I've been working on now for over two years, right? Pollination Station. Yes, Pollination Station. What is Pollination Station? Well, as you can see behind me, we went ahead and I just purchased a bus. What? Yeah, a bus, an old Greyhound bus, 1980 MCI bus. It was all built around focusing in on trying to solve a problem. What is the problem? Hey, as an artist, author, and a speaker, I'm being blessed enough to be able to travel all over the country doing workshops, doing classes, working with young people, and also doing incredible public art projects, right? But one of the things I've always not liked about the work that I do is the travel, the hustle and bustle, the hotels, the flights, and also I feel like that I was doing the young people and all of my students and a lot of the community-based people a dishonor. Creativity, which is my passion and my vision, and living, which is something that we all have to do, and inspiration is what I'm known for. One of the main things was living as a creative individual was really tearing me down. So what I decided to really do is focus in on creating a station, a unit, that we can be able to use to travel all over the world, travel all over the country to be able to inspire young people, to be able to go into community centers, to be able to go into communities and do public art projects, and to be able to have mobility so we can be able to change the world and be more effective. A lot of times I get calls from all over the country for schools, organizations, uh, artists and creative individuals who want to be able to bring me in. And a lot of times through financial 
about responsibilities and a lack of funding for the arts, a lot of times people aren't able to be able to bring us in. We're not able to do the work in some of the community centers and to be able to address some of the poverty because people can't afford it, right? So what we decided to do is come to the people. We decided to spend some time, some energy, some motivation and invest the energy to be able to get pollination started so we can be able to come equipped and be able to change lives and go directly to the environments, go directly to the communities that we want to be able to change. So what we decided to do, guess what? If you do not have a building, if you do not have a community center, if you do not have a school, if you don't have a place where we can be able to come and gather and use this tool to be able to change lives, we're going to bring the tool to you.